It's concerning. Rachel Horan is visiting her sick grandfather at UMC Hospital. She says she not only has to worry about her grandpa's illness, but the possibility of him contracting Candida auris, also known as Superbug. I worry about him a lot. Um, I have confidence in the doctors and nurses, especially because of what we just went through. It is still concerning. The Nevada Department of Health and Human Services reported 202 cases of Superbug back in January. This is the highest number of cases we have seen in Southern Nevada. We wanted to know why, so we asked local expert Dr. Edwin O. He leads the wastewater testing efforts at UNLV and is monitoring the severity of this situation. We are finding in certain strategic locations a little bit more. Uh, the, the presence of this uh, pathogen. Dr. O tells Channel 13 they have collected samples of wastewater from all over the valley and he says they are seeing higher levels of the pathogen in certain areas. We're going to find this pathogen a lot more in um, different healthcare settings. This fungal pathogen is a drug resistant germ that spreads in places like hospitals and medical clinics and it can cause serious infection. Dr. O oh says what they are finding from the wastewater near these healthcare facilities is alarming. The, the levels closer to various sam um, facilities, various healthcare facilities, have been high. So, so to us, that's concerning. Dr. O explained to us that they are in constant communication with healthcare practices around the valley, informing them about the increase of superbug pathogen levels. So then each facility can take matters into their own hands and increase sanitizing protocols as needed. By providing this information, I think we can then get folks a little bit more aware of the environment they're in and take necessary actions. The CDC has specific cleaning and disinfection protocols to prevent the spread of this pathogen. During the anxiety and uncertainty, local health officials stress the importance of hygiene practices and safety protocols for everyone. Rachel says during hospital visits with her grandfather, she and her family are doing their part. Every time they've walked in the room, every time they've touched a doorknob, the hand sanitizer, 